everyone, welcome back to Little Homestead. Um, today I'm going to make some uh, a recipe that I often make about the same time of the year. Um, I just realised that the sun is shining on one of my glasses lenses. I'll just take those off so you can see me properly. Um, and it's called, um, I call it apple gingerbread. Uh, the original recipe's got nuts in it so you could add nuts to it if you wanted. Um, but I often make this recipe when it's just getting near um, sort of the end of winter and it's just starting to come into spring because I like to store um, our apples, any leftover apples, I just store them in the bottom of the fridge and they just start to get a little bit soft and, I, and because I don't like to waste anything um, I always just end up using them and grating them into porridge or um, chopping them up into muffins and I thought today I'll make some of that um, lovely apple gingerbread that um, I always make. So today I'm just going to double the recipe and make two loaves which is a good idea if you're a busy person like me and then you can have one in the freezer and it's just there if you want to um, need to take a plate for some reason or somebody pops in and or yeah you just always have um, extra baking on hand which is a good thing or even to give to somebody who might be um, just needing a bit of encouragement. So it's been quite a while since I made a video, so I thought today I'm just going to try and do it super quick, get it made, get it uploaded, and not overthink it. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've lined my uh, loaf pans. Remember I said I was going to double it, so if you're not doubling it, you just do one. So that's just a regular size loaf, bread loaf pan. And then in here I've got my butter and I've just softened it and I'm going to add to that three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and then just cream it with the mixer. That was um, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar and um, then we're going to add a half a cup of golden syrup and we will whiz that all up. It's always a little bit tricky to get um, the golden syrup out so I find if I just wet um, my measuring cup first, it just seems to help it to come out a little bit better. So where it's just a half a cup if you're making one loaf, and then of course one cup if you're doubling it like I am. I'll just pour in. Now this is a really lovely sticky, sticky gingerbread. Um, not probably for people who are wanting to avoid sugar. I think it's just the most delicious loaf to have buttered, um, a nice thick slice of it with butter and you sit down to have an, an afternoon cup of coffee or to serve to friends, it's just a really lovely recipe. <coughs> Now the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of buttermilk and as I don't have any buttermilk, it's just not something I keep on hand. I'm, um, so normally I would use, so between, divide the three quarters of a cup into halves and then <clears throat> I would put half of it yogurt and half of it milk and then I add a teaspoon of, teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar. So I'm just using plain, unsweetened, natural yogurt here. And I'm going to top it up with my milk. It's just whole milk. So that will come up to the one and a half mark because I'm doubling it. And then just add in your vinegar. So that would probably be just under half a cup of um, yo yogurt and up to the three quarter mark with milk for just the one one loaf and then one teaspoon of vinegar that I added to for this. And I find adding yogurt to recipes just seems to make them beautiful and light. So um, if you always have Greek yogurt on hand like I do, I would definitely um, recommend just popping some in replacing some of the milk in a recipe with the Greek yogurt and you'll find that the recipes come out lovely and light. Just popping that away in the fridge. 
Okay, so the next thing to do is just to chop up your apples. So I've just got these um, these apples that are off our tree. You can see they just actually they start off green and then as they get riper, they um, just turn this lovely golden yellow colour. But they're still crispy. If I press it with my thumb, they still have a lot of crunch. They haven't even gone flowery. So this is a Sturma apple. It's just a really lovely brand. So I'm just going to peel those and dice them up now. Okay, so just beat up your sugar, brown sugar butter and golden syrup mixture until it's lovely and creamy. And then we'll add the eggs. So for this recipe, if you're just making the one loaf, you only need one egg. So you can see just how lovely that looks. Quite a thick mixture. So just keep going, put the brown sugar and the syrup, it doesn't take long for this to um, all come together and get creamy because it's not like granulated white sugar. Okay, so I'll come back to that in a minute. Now into a fairly large bowl, um, you want to add two cups of flour. So of course, because I'm doubling it, I'm adding four cups. Then we're going to put in our spices. So we need uh, one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger. I like it really gingery, so if you like it really gingery, just go ahead and add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Of course, three for me, because I'm doubling it. And then just a half teaspoon of mixed spice. Can tell it's a lovely spicy gingerbread so we're also going to add a little bit of salt it's just a half a teaspoon excuse my arm of salt half a teaspoon for the one loaf and then i'm just going to mix that all together with a wire whisk that's my egg let's take that off egg for my lunch. Okay, so we just whisk all those dry ingredients together. And then I normally um, just add in the diced oxy, almost forgot something very important, the baking soda. We need one and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda. So I normally measure it out and then just crush it in my hand, um, just to make sure there's no lumps. So that's just one and a quarter if you're just doing one loaf. Mix that all through. I'm just set that aside for now. And we'll just chop up our apples. So I just wanted to have a wee talk and just wondered how everybody's doing. Um, different countries in the world. I know it's just a um, very strange, crazy times that we're living in at the moment. Um, I actually wrote a blog, if anybody here follows my blog, um, it's called The Little Homestead, just like the same as my YouTube. Anyway, 
I entitled the blog, Don't Lose Your Head. It's just encouraging people. I wrote it a couple of weeks ago. Encouraging people um, just to be sensible during these times that we're living in. Um, if you're a Christian, just trust in the Lord. Maintain your peace and joy with God. Keep your prayer time up. Keep reading your Bible. And so much instruction and comfort in reading the Word. And there's scriptures in Thessalonians and um, I think it's in Daniel. It's, I've written it on my blog anyway. It might, might be Isaiah where it just encourages us not to get caught up in, in conspiracies. Um, yeah, the only thing we meant to be, well, the only one we meant to fear is a reverent fear of God. And just to be wise, to be sensible, I think it's always good um, to be preparing in some kind of way in case of sickness or job loss or just anything, that we always have some food set aside, um, canned goods and... Anyway, I talk all about this in my blog. Medical supplies. Um, I don't think it's necessary to do anything crazy like building an underground bunker. Or well, some people might not think that's crazy, so I don't want to offend anyone. But it's just not something I'm planning on doing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but just to be a little bit prepared, it gives you a little bit of peace of mind anyway. But yeah, I just want to encourage people just to keep on trusting in the Lord, even in these times we find ourselves in. Alright, so let's just carry on whizzing up. Mixture. Just straight down your bowl as you need to until you just get a really lovely creamy consistency. And then you can add in the second piece. It doesn't take long at all. Just put in that extra egg since I'm making two loaves. So it's a reasonably inexpensive um, loaf to make. I find with most home baking it doesn't actually cost much if you're only using simple ingredients like butter and sugar and flour and an egg. And if you have your own chickens with well, that saves even more money. So just go on um, ahead and whiz up that second egg and mix it all in. Okay, so let's put it all together. We've got our diced apples mixture in here. Um, so just toss those around in the flouring mixture. Now I'm going to make a well in the centre and we're going to put in our lovely creamy mixture of butter and brown sugar and golden syrup. Beautiful. Now I suppose if you wanted you could put some raisins into this or like the original recipe said, it said um, to put in walnuts which would probably be really, really lovely. But I normally just make this with the apples. Okay, so here's our mixture with the yogurt and the um, milk and a teaspoon of vinegar, which is my cheat's way of making buttermilk. Pour that in and I'm just going to mix that by hand, just with my um, big spatula. I've also got some sourdough English muffins that I need to make today. And I have been experimenting with the um, gluten-free, I think, I don't know if I ever uploaded the video, but I was um, learning how to make, I taught myself how to make a gluten-free um, sourdough starter. And the most successful one was the brown rice, organic brown rice one. And so I made um, a loaf of bread. It did turn out quite a small loaf um, so I think it would have been a little bit higher if I just let it rise longer I was probably in a hurry that day which was typical for me um, and but it, I really really love the flavor of it and I've been eating it and it's been good on my tummy so I find as long as I 
sourdough things, um, I can digest um, grains a lot better. All right, so just get all of that mixed in. I just try tend to stick to the recipe and don't add any extra milk or anything to this recipe. And then we're just going to spoon it into our tins. And then I need to hurry up because my husband will be home for lunch soon. I need to get some lunch made for him. Let's just start spooning this big mixture in. I'll just kind of eyeball it. Whoopsie, that's not good. The spoon. Pop it back into the tin. And then just spread it out. Spread it out into the tin evenly. So evenly between two tins for me, just into one tin for the single loaf. And we'll just go ahead and spoon all the rest of the mixture. Okay, so now there we have it. Now we're going to pop that into the oven for, uh, the recipe says for 50 minutes. So I actually put mine in for 40 and then I will... Um, just check it with a skewer then just to make sure that it's ready. Um, and one other thing I just wanted to say was I remember I think it was way back in the 80s or 1990s. It was talking about in the future we were going to have superbugs that there wasn't going to probably be any antibiotics for. And it's just so sad that we see that happening now and that they don't have um, antibiotics or anything that can just kill um, the coronavirus. And as you probably know, we've got more cases back now in New Zealand, which maybe it's the second wave, I don't know. Um, so but in New Zealand, in the area I live in, is back into level two lockdown, which just means no more than 100 people are allowed to gather at once. And in our, one of our major cities, Auckland, um, they are in a level three lockdown, which um, I think it's limited to no more than 10 people. Yeah, so it's really um, disappointing that we've gone back into this situation again. But I know there's other countries in the world like America and, and the UK and even Australia that are suffering um, a, a lot more than what we are in New Zealand. So I just wanted you to know that you're in my prayers and my heart goes out to you. And I just really pray that our world is free of coronavirus soon. So I'm just going to pop these loaves into the oven now and I'll see you when they come out. Okay, so the loaves are baked and here is the apple gingerbread. You can see it makes quite a good sized loaf. I'm actually not going to cut into it but it's lovely and springy and I find it keeps really well and it's even better um, the next day. So the reason I'm not going to cut into it is just because I think it, it's one of those loaves that just improves the, the longer it keeps because of, I think, the golden syrup. It just uh, makes it lovely and moist and sweet. So I hope you enjoyed um, seeing me make the apple gingerbread and I hope that you'll give it a go. Please let me know in the comments if you like it. And if you want to watch or read, rather, that blog I wrote about Don't Lose Your Head during these difficult times, um, I'll, I'll leave the little link down below to that too. Okay, God bless. Bye for now.